That's also the screenshot button for Steam. Well. Well. <laughs> eh. Eh. Hello, everyone. We might need to turn it down a little on our end, but keep it the same for them. Yeah, let me see if I can. Uh, it's over there. I just don't know if I'm going to access it. There we go. Okay. Let me let people on Discord know. Yep. Yes, phone, I know you're only at 20%. There's a char- Oh, okay. You get there is a charger over here if you need it. Let me get on the Twitter and I'll retweet the tweet. Hopefully it has the link. <laughs> <laughs> it does. We're good. Uh, we should be good to start. All right, cool, cool. Oh, Kami. Oh, Kami. Um. Now, what did we do last time? We watched a we watched a princess go to the moon. Ah, oh, that's right. To the moon. <sighs> And then now I think we have to go back to the city. Okay. We'll leave. I believe that's what we need to do. Yeah, because now we have the now we have the um the motherboard, and that will stop the lava. Nope, that's where nope. you came from. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I, I don't know. I'm lost. Nope. I I think that was the entrance. No. Like, I think you were in the entrance. So go back outside? Yeah, I think I was wrong. Okay. I thought we were still in the, um, the hot spring section, but we weren't. <laughs> but we were not. Go! Dog. So, uh, our, our court vizier, Oxy, uh, finally wrapped my stupid ass brain around Eevee and Ivy training. I hate it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Uh, I can't imagine trying to do it back in the day when, like, it was so much more restrictive. What are you doing? Look at the map. Oh. Okay, so this way. Um... Well, like, yeah, I just, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> um, but I'm doing it because it, like, Oxy is very much a strategic kind of game player. He plays a lot of Civ uh, and, like, stuff like that. So pretty much any time there's a game where strategy is involved, he always kicks my ass handily because I'm just an idiot who likes press punch button, you know? Um, so I'm trying to, while still having it be, like, a fun strategy that's not just lame as hell, uh, find ways that I can maybe stand a chance. And I've actually gotten a couple of victories uh, against him, along with teammates in multi-battles. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. Multi-battles are a lot of fun. Yeah. Could get real chaotic at times. I wish that they still had, uh, the... The, the three-way 1v1s battles. Yeah. Not gonna talk to that guy? Uh, hello, sir. He's very naked. Yes, he is. You can't swim in the sea. It's too dangerous. The water dragon's in there with its mouth wide open. I can understand wanting treasure, but don't risk your life for it. Nah, man. Can we actually see the water dragon? No? Oh, crap. No, I don't think we can still see it. I think we do need to actually fight it at some point. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. What's up, y'all? Not hey! much. We're starting a little bit later, because uh, I, I was working a little bit more on the... Um, 
on our on our little system here now. I figured out how to put opacity onto the color block, so now that the now the chat has a little a little uh, translucent color block, so you can tell where it is. Um, and I was doing that. I was looking for like gifts to uh, have like a new subscriber alert. I, I kind of want something where it's like a portcullis opening. Yeah. See, it's right there at the bottom. <laughs> Hello. I figured that that would maybe maybe make uh, new people who show up want to chat more if they know that, you know, people will see it without having to look away from the screen. Um. <laughs> I want to offer promotion of your... Oh, oh we got a, we got a bot! bot! <laughs> beer, 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 beer. Hell yeah! Oh, actually, maybe it's not a bot, but you know. But he's still trying to sell us something. He's trying to sell us doge, doge hype. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you a crypto bro? No, no. <laughs> we need to figure out how to how to assign mods. <laughs> That's enough, and set up like an auto mod at some point. Yeah. Uh, in case that there actually is somebody behind that. You're wasting your effort. Neither of us like crypto nor NFTs. <laughs> What's, What's your, your offer? offer? <laughs> What's your offer? <laughs> That's not right. A boy should have a hat. <laughs> Stupid bot. You made me look bad. Ooga booga booga. <laughs> um. But yeah, as someone who actually does draw and would love to do it for a living, crypto and NFT stuff, nah, nah, man, you can you can go away. It's all it's all the same kind of people who do the, both of those things, so neither of them. So we need to we need to go up to uh, that elevator in the castle, oh. or the palace or whatever. Oh, okay. Because like I said, we have we have the computer chip now that'll stop the lava. Okay, gotcha. Wrong way. This way. No. Yes. Okay. Now the thing about the the chat widget is that if you don't have a very active chat all of the words seem to disappear very quickly. So I need to see if there's something I can do about that. It might also be because we ourselves keep disconnecting and reconnecting to the chat room. Um, but to have that stop, we would have to deactivate our VPN and that's not safe. What's your offer? <laughs> now remember, you can slow time. Uh. <laughs> uh. It's literally the easiest thing ever, man. It's two lines. <laughs> Nothing! That is not a big amount of time! I don't have muscle memory like you do. This isn't even muscle memory. This is just actual memory. Muscle memory is when I remember the uh, the controls. Mm -hmm. um, no, this is more just I remember shit that counts as pop culture or uh, entertainment media way the fuck better than I uh, remember anything actually useful. Right. Okay, so uh, look around. There should be a place to put the computer chip. 
I can't look around. Okay, then maybe it's outside of the room. Or if we read the scroll for holy artifacts. In the scrolls. Uh, I think it would be in... Treasure Tome? Where treasures? Okay, no, then uh, maybe in the travel guide. Yeah, this, this is about right. Go all the way down. Yep, there it is. Holy artifacts. Our holy artifacts. These were treasures. Up to three of these accessories can be equipped at any one time. Um, no, you put it. Okay, so let's go to our equipment, maybe? Yeah, there it is. There it is. And now we can go. Hot, hot, hot. How are we feeling? Hot, hot, hot. How are you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> ole, ole. <laughs> I like that song. Huh. So I was I was that uh, dumb Midwestern American kid who watched like the videotapes that you would get sent about like come to Disney World, uh, <laughs> and I would just I would just watch those. I would just legitimately watch those. Speaking of which, uh, we seem to be having an issue connecting to chat right now. Hmm. Doesn't look like the stream's gone down though. So oh okay there it goes. Cool we're good. Also, uh, just in case it happens like it did last week. Um, wait, did we go down? He says, oh no. Oh no. Are we fine? Are we down? Because it says we're still alive. It says we're still alive. Are we still good? We good. Okay, cool. Yep. <laughs> Let us know if, if that happens. All right. I bet that's Himiko. Looks like that freaky shut-in is praying or something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> the security here was pretty tight, was it? But nothing we couldn't handle. I don't think it was, Izun. It was two guards. Yeah, you tell her. Benevolent Amateros, I have been waiting for you. I have fire on my head. Help. <laughs> and Isu, the traveling artist. You too, of course. She's got a Megatama uh, hanging above her. You. Eh? How do you know our names? Anyway, first things first. You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. Sob. My people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. Yeah, she got she got the crying down. We know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Making a lot of leaps here. Yeah, now, stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. I'm being really fucking rude. All right, come on, show yourself, you old hag. Isu, your words are very harsh, but you are right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. Benevolent Amateros, I, Himiko, the ruler of Saiyan City, offer my most sincere apologies. And the curtain rise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And ah, shit. Isu just immediately like, oh, God. God damn it. The one time I was trying to be serious. Ah, fuck. Here it goes. I'm, I'm brocking out. <laughs> ah. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. By Himiko, 
will not allow this evil to darken Cyan. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. And I have located the hateful monster stronghold, Oni Island. Oh no, she's masked. <laughs> What's this about a monster stronghold? Ah shit. We're gonna we're gonna do the Momotaro thing now, I guess. Alright. <laughs> Can't say I've ever heard of Oni Island. That is not true. Literally, a young boy who was bursting from a onion or a peach or something told us about it in the city, I believe last stream. <laughs> Eastern place. What do you mean you're trying to locate the island? I mean, it's an island, right? It couldn't have just floated away, even though I've seen a floating mass of a building in the city. <laughs> Only island is elusive. It's very sneaky. <laughs> it vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. No one knows where in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. Ah, uh, so what you're saying is we need to wait for the death egg to fall into it. That way we can locate it. What <laughs> are you talking about, Isu? Uh, I feel like Oni Island might be what the floating island is based on. What with its whole like floating around and shit. <laughs> I don't know. The, honestly, Sonic Team seems to keep going back and forth whether or not it moves or is geolocked. Because, <laughs> like, in Adventure, it apparently was just right off the fucking coast of the mainland. So, like, how would anybody not know where it is? Also, it was off the mainland of the United Federation Zone, which is, like, America. Even though South Island is an island and is based off of, you know, like, I believe the Caribbean area. <laughs> Tarasu yawns. <laughs> I mean, what good will it do to simply pray day in and day out? I am atheistic. <laughs> I am Isun the Atheist. Have you met my dog god? <laughs> Take the Magatama marble. <laughs> she trying to mess with us? This is the treasured crystal ball. I feel like it was probably called something else in Japanese. Oh, 100%. Because that's not just a crystal ball. It has a Megatama in it, which I know the name of... I know the term Megatama because of Ace Attorney. But, <laughs> um, but like, that clearly something spiritual, which I guess crystal balls are too, but they're more generally mystic. Um, My family, the top... Yamatai clan has ruled Saiyan City forever. This crystal ball has been passed down through the generations. I could foresee the future in it. It told me you were coming. And it'll tell me where in the ocean Oni Island will appear next. Interesting. Amateros wants to play with the ball. <laughs> give, give the ball. <laughs> you can find Oni Island in a jiffy with that thing. Exposing the stronghold like Oni Island demands much holy power. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. That is why I have walked myself away. Prayers are our only hope. So you're telling me thoughts and prayers are actually the solution here. <laughs> For once, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny how, like, that only ever seems to happen in mythology and folklore. Weird. <laughs> but the spearhead of my enemy's forces may already be on its way. Alright. <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Queenie. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I'd do anything for a pretty lady. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Fucking damn. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I, I, I like to think that Amateros did that to basically do the same thing as smacking him on the back of the head. He's yeah. like, idiot. <laughs> Bonk. Go to horny jail. <laughs> Be careful, you cannot approach me now. By taking this crystal ball in my hand, a powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. But, but you didn't. 
You didn't take it in your hand. It's floating above you like three feet. <laughs> You'll be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. This crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. Cut to it exploding or something. Oh man, why can't we approach you now? <laughs> I entreat you once again. Will you hear my request? The request of all my people. Mm. Sounds Bork. boring. <laughs> so Bork? Bork. Or Bork? Uh, Bork. Bork. Yeah. The mighty water dragon now threatens the peace of the oceans. I don't know why it has suddenly turned into savagery. The water dragon is a sea god whose task is to maintain order. So, though it may cause harm, we invite chaos if we try to slay it. In fact, without the water dragon, Oni Island is beyond our reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Ah, I, okay. I guess we gotta separate this into multiple interactions <laughs> for some reason. Quit beating around the bush and just spit it out already. Fucking goddamn. You wanna help or not? <clears throat> the key to reaching Oni Island lies in the water dragon. Here's that same picture again. Even if the crystal ball shows me the location of the island, the island's powerful shield will prevent us from reaching it. Any attempts to break the shield will only result in our own pain. But the water dragon could break the shield with ease. It could form a bridge over the sea of the, to the island. That's two very different sentences. Yeah. So you're saying that you'll reveal the location of Oni Island, and the water dragon will break the barrier around it, and or make a bridge, which again is two very different objectives. Um, <laughs> like, is he gonna do both of those things? Why does he do two things and you do one thing? That seems like a, a bad, a bad, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I'm not in business. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the water dragon? It's out of control, right? Does it have like a splinter in its paw or something? Does it have paws? It looked like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be, it, there's a doubt it'll be happy to help us. I don't know. That is why I must ask for your help, Amateros. Your powers could calm the water dragon and get it to help us. I cannot leave this palace, where my prayers require all my energy. <laughs> you are the only one who can take on this important task. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, Any more insight? God damn it. <laughs> you want <laughs> us to make friends with that rampaging water dragon? Yes, Isun. I thought that was clear by the fucking second sentence. <laughs> My boss here says no. There ain't much I can do. Come on, Amy. I'm pawning off the responsibility to you again. Yes, we're gonna help Himiko. Oh, God. <laughs> truly are benevolent. Just I truly you. am dog benevolent, you mean. Haha, <laughs> ah. get it? Bork. <laughs> Cross the border and continue to the land beyond. By the way, I have Pokemon cards for if we're ever in a point where we're just traversing yeah. for a long period. It said there's a race which controls the water dragon. They live in the sea beyond the border in the drag... Dragon... Oh, wow. Dragonian? Dra Dragonian domain. They may have uh, some connection with the dragon's recent behavior. I guess it could be Dragonian. Dragonian, maybe. Dragonian, Dragonian... Please calm the water dragon and open the path to Oni Island. Tomato, tomato, let's call the whole thing off. I don't know. <laughs> it says we're unstable still. Yeah. Are we on Ethernet? It, it, I did show we are on Ethernet. It didn't show Wi-Fi. Here. Um, we might have to save and then go out again. But uh, I need to alt tab again. Just want to check. 
So yeah, it says we're connected to Ethernet, and this used to be the stable one, so has our... I know we're still online. Um, it just the... We switched back over to the other Ethernet, because we have two ways of connecting to Ethernet. And when we switched to the one that was through our router, it started saying that it was an unstable connection. Um, and now we've done it to the original one where it used to say excellent, but still says unstable now, which makes me think that it's not actually the ethernet, but maybe this or the settings on Streamlabs that we might need to tweak. tweak. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, let's get to a save point, and then we can... There, be, there's one right there. Yeah, or, well, that worked out. Yeah, we're going to fix the screen really quick. Yep, yep. All right. And then... Uh, Wait, that's... Uh... Yeah, other one. Return to title. God, how I wish it let us change that in-game. Wouldn't that... Or that it just didn't do this! Why do you go to windowed when you're alt-tabbed? What fucking sense does that make? And why is there no way to turn that off? Capcom and or whoever they outsourced it to. The fuck? <laughs> What's up with that? That's weird. Uh, anyway. Oh, Kami! Oh, Kami. Okay. Sorry for that brief interruption, ladies and gentlemen. Now back to the smooth sounds of Camp Callaway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's Callaway. <laughs> no, that's, um... That's Minnie the Moocher, which was... Who did that? Hold on. I need to grab my phone. That's gonna bother the shit out of me. It was Cat Calloway! I was right! Ha! I didn't even think I was right, but I was right. Neat. Look at me go! <laughs> Fuck yeah. I was right even when I thought I was wrong. <laughs> I shall never question my decision making or information again. <laughs> this cat's just like, oh no. Uh, can we heal any of these trees yet? We've got, we've got the stomach for it now. Sick. Wait, grab the fruit, grab the fruit. Oh, yep, you're right. Yeah, we got, we got to fill up that stomach. Stoomy. Or I'm sorry, the astral pouch. <laughs> I'm just hungry. When is Doggo ever not hungry? <laughs> is the question. That's true. Perfect. I'm surprised it counted that, but it's nice. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm so pleased with myself. Is, it, is that what's called? What it's called? Oh, the, the astral pouch? Yeah, for some reason, they call it the astral pouch. Which sounds weird. Like, if you actually just take it, it's like, oh, yes, the astral pouch. I'm just like, what kind of new age bullshit are you talking about? Just call it a stomach. Everybody gets what you mean. Doggo hungry. I filled my astral pouch with an Italian sandwich. <clears throat> I had a breakfast horseshoe. Yeah, I had um, a mushroom and cheese omelet with some raisin toast. Yeah, which to anyone who does who does not live in the Midwest, specifically around Central Illinois, uh, you may not know what a horseshoe is. Um, the easiest way to describe it is it's a kind of open faced sandwich uh, where normally it is like toast, burger, uh, fries, and then cheese sauce. Um, 
and but a breakfast one is replace the toast with hash browns, uh, replace burger with bacon, sausage, or ham because breakfast, uh, and then have egg, um, and then it either can have cheese, sauce, or country gravy. You might be able to jump over there if you do double jump and then dodge. There you go. There we go. Okay. Oops. Um, but yeah, and, and like most food that's originally created in the in the prairie lands of the Midwest, uh, it's really really good if you don't worry about the calories. Just don't think about it. Yep. Just don't. That was probably the entire calorie intake that I'm supposed to have in a day right there, but I don't care. It was brunch. Counts as two meals. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not. Sunny day. Waking up. There it is. I was having an issue recognizing that one. Yeah. I wonder if you do it closer to the base, will it still work and be easier recognized? Ah! Uh oh. Uh, lily pad. Lily pad. How are we supposed to get those now that the water's done? There's gotta be like an artifact or something that lets us go under the water. You would think. We gotta figure out a way to go under the sea. Under the sea? Everything's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Alright. I'm gonna double check, but I think we. I'm gonna turn. But yeah, uh, when I was a kid, I, I sometimes thought, you know, if I ever get into cooking. <laughs> I don't know how. It's just one curve, and it's the other way. There you go. Um. But uh, if, if I ever got into, like, cooking at a professional level, I would probably want to just, like, take a bunch of, um, like, make a bun bunch of restaurants that are styled after the Midwest uh, and bring them to places where people constantly talk shit about the Midwest, a.k.a. the coasts. Uh, <laughs> you know, the East Coast, the West Coast anywhere that's not the Midwest, because they're always talking shit about the Midwest. You know, they're always like, oh, there's nothing there, and the people are stupid. And it's like, listen, you're right, but you don't say it. <laughs> it's not our fault. You never bring shit over here. Um, but I would I would like to spread the good word of, of the horseshoe. I feel like the restaurants would probably fail if I tried to do it in California, though. They're too health conscious. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Maybe better at luck on the East Coast. The East Coast might do it. Like, they got Philly cheesesteak and stuff. I think that's just a plant. Yeah, I know, but it does Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a sprout right next to it. I see what you're doing. Nope. There you go. There you go. Nom. I've never had bamboo sprout. Me neither. There we go. Did you know that sloths are so slow and stupid that sometimes when they're like climbing a tree, that they move so slowly that they themselves confuse their stationary arm for for a uh, like for a branch, and so they will grab onto the branch and then try to move their other arm and just fall. <laughs> nice speed. I just learned that recently. I'm just like, that, that's dumb. <laughs> really dumb. So you just exploring before we go yeah, towards more, the water dragon? Yeah, I wanted to do some exploring real quick, see what we can find. Fair enough, fair enough. Might as well, right? Yeah, I mean, you found a stray bead, which means there's one less stray bead that we need to find all at once. Yep. If we do that. If we do that. If we do that. We're not committing to that. Eh. 
managed to fill the pouch, so we're good on that. Man, you know, this is how I know I'm a, I'm a fat man. Like, even if I were to, like, get in shape and become skinny, it would not last, because I am a fat man at heart. Because, like, we just had a big brunch, right? But now I'm thinking about an Italian sandwich. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cat? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, sorry, I'm like, I'm just, like, my dead focus. No, like, I completely get it because there's, you know, there's some people that are naturally skinny, not because, not because of genetics, but because they could be like, oh, I can skip lunch today. I had a big dinner, like, last night, or, like, they just know to naturally, like, stop eating when they're hungry. Turn. Yeah. But, so they're naturally skinny in that way, but, um, but, like, with me... Because I used to be obese. Like, I don't have that in me. Like, if there is food on a plate, I want to eat all of it. And I, and it's like, well, I got to have my three meals a day. It's just ingrained in my head. Yeah. And uh, it's like, if I I'm, don't, I'll die. So, they taught me that in kindergarten. So despite the fact that I am, like, my weight is much better than it was in the past. Like, I'm still very much that, like, fat, like, person at heart look i'll just buy i'll just buy the bigger shirts i don't give a fuck who am i trying to impress it, it's been worth it for me because like i'm in better shape overall like yeah. i don't get tired as easily um but and all of those are great benefits and i would love to benefit from them but also i just do not care enough about my own well-being to have the willpower to do it <laughs> i just don't you know It's been acting a little fritz. It's been on the fritz go. a little bit recently. I've noticed if you control, pull, like you yeah, can't... I think I think maybe the cords going a little wonky. Yeah. Or maybe the connecting point. Probably doesn't help that it's all tangled. Yeah. Feel free to untangle it if you need to. Uh, not while we're on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like we have Joy-Con drift on our PS4 controller. Crazy. I need to get back to making this, but um, egg. I'm cur I'm currently working on a crochet project. Looks like egg. It does very much look like an egg, and I need to I need to glue these up, but um, it is a Pokemon I'm working on. My current favorite Pokemon. Can you guess what it is just by the main piece? I need to glue these back, these up. Oh, it's uh, it's it's shiny Azumarill. Yeah. It's egg. It's my egg. It's shimmer. Egg. I caught a, a shiny um, Swablu yesterday. It's like a yellow golden color. Mm -hmm. So Swablu, and I just named my my yellow Swablu Swallow. I mean, you stole that from Oxy. I didn't, yellow. I didn't just I just named it that. I don't think I'd stole it from Oxy. You literally you were saying like I'm looking for a shiny swablu and he went, so you're looking for a swayella? I guess so. <laughs> and I stole it from Oxy. I don't I didn't remember him Thievery. <laughs> That's his intellectual property. And you know what that means? That means he has the copyright on it for like 125 years. <laughs> Okay, so how am, how are we so, gonna summon the water? Right? So we we have to go visit that other place. Which other place? Um, she gave us a key to a. Oh, the Dragonian area. Yeah. Where which is I, that though? I have no idea. Where have we? Where would that be? Would it be past that? Like, this way? Maybe. Yeah, it could be. All right, let me go back that way. Oh, like she got the swallow yellow. Congrats! Yeah, I was really happy. I tried. Ah. To I tried to catch another one because I kind of ah. wanted to. Uh, ah. I wanted to see if I could catch ah. another one. I kind of wanted to do it like a. I think it's fun with like the wonder trade. Um, every now and then, when people send out like fun stuff, 
I re I've always really liked that because I got like I've gotten a few level 100 Pokemon that way from like just a random wonder trade. So I'm like, what if I found another shiny and just wonder trade it away? I think that'd make someone stay. But I couldn't find another one before we uh, started uh, multi-battling. See, here's the thing. I normally can't even fucking tell if I have a shiny. <laughs> yeah, that's... Life's hard when you're colorblind. Yeah. It's like, oh man, a shiny Pikachu. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, a border key for this portcullis. <laughs> Famous for needing keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Got it. I don't like... I don't like how... I, I know it's just kind of like how my current setup is, and it's unfortunate, but I don't like the liquid being that close to my tower. It's fine. <laughs> Scott... <laughs> Yeah, but I, I do plan on uh, EV training the swap the shiny Swablu at some point soon. Add that to my add that to my horde of shiny teams. God uh, damn fucking, it, Waka. Uh, Get out of here! We were fucking this conversation had nothing to do with you. <laughs> Your little adventure through that hole. The city's air has sure cleared up thanks to you. Just ignore him and maybe he'll go away. Come on. Why so grumpy today? Didn't you notice the view? Used to be one big cursed zone out here, but yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions, I say without any evidence. What? I really wanted to wait for you two, but I couldn't stand leaving the sea in such a cursed state. Ah, the sea off Ryoshima coast is back to its beautiful self. <laughs> I'm going to claim credit for something I may not have done. Uh. Also, have you noticed my flute just like kind of passes through my hand? Weird. Anyway, <laughs> is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my little friend? I fucking hate you, man. <laughs> is that supposed to mean pretty boy? Oh, just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you're a wandering artist now. I want to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one would be fine, perhaps. My art's none of your business. Why should I show you anyway? The player's already shown, been shown it, like, right at the fucking beginning, and it was pretty good. <laughs> you really are in a bad mood today. You're not one of those imposters who claims to be an artist, but could not paint a picture of his life dependent. Listen, it's not my fault that I don't use painting tools. I'm a digital artist. <laughs> digital illustrate, digital cartoonist. <laughs> digital drawy maker. <laughs> Put that on a resume. Resume. I draw picture. <laughs> it's just that. I, I drew picture. Here you go. <laughs> um, could not paint a picture if his life depended on it, are you? What? Oh, nothing. It's just something some old man mentioned. His grandson, who was also his apprentice, ran away from home. He took the old man's painting of a wood sprite with him. Do you think you might claim to have painted that masterpiece? I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it's hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. Hey, uh, Waka, fun fact, most of the great masters of the Renaissance were trace artists and imposters for hire. They would literally get commissioned to paint or sculpt like a different one. <laughs> Hell, most of them usually had underlings and artists working under them to help them paint something or sculpt something and they never got credit some of the great masters started out as that there's a reason why it said that imitation is the greatest form of flattery because without imitation you never can create art on your own so while you might think it's cringy when some like eight-year-old makes a DeviantArt account and makes an OC that's just all of the Sonic characters combined, <laughs> that's them finding out, all right, how can I make a design that works? And then they approve from there. Yep. Everyone's done it. <laughs> Disney stole from Fleischer. <laughs> Asuma Tezuka stole from Disney. <laughs> 
Everyone else in Japan stole from him! <laughs> now make like a tree and leave. And that's my, uh, my insider art fact for the day. Art! It's really not as a, much of a divine talent as people like to say it is. It's not. <laughs> We've been doing it since we were in caves. <laughs> Um, or you can stick around if you'd rather get sliced and diced. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna need a lot of water after this, it's both me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excusez-moi, you do not have to get all hot under the collar. Joke's on you, I'm not wearing a shirt. <laughs> it would appear I have struck a raw nerve. Well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll just be on my merry way. Au revoir, baby. There's still been no explanation on why I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that like both of us immediately like we're just wa Fuck watching Fuck this here. guy! No, get out of here! Um, so what were we talking about? Pokemon? Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, I believe this is one of the. Uh, is this one of the things that we're looking for? That is a big nose. One of the one of the monsters, like the monster list things. I don't know. Uh, remember that the slow time is good for them. Yep. And also remember that you can uh, shoot things. Hell yeah. Mmm, look at that damage. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Nose. I think that was one of the things. Check the monster list. No, not that. Um, where was it? Because we got handed like a like a a monster list, right? Wanted list, I think. Uh, go down? I can't go down. No? Okay. It looks like they're all ears this time. Because there's Dishonorable Tempest, Fell Thunder, Petulant Lightning, Storm and Degradation, Slow Shame, Fiber. Okay. Well, I, know. I thought maybe it was one of those, because it was just like, well, we haven't seen a nose before. And it was just that one. <laughs> nose. Well, there's something to dig up. Here, let's... make it easier. Well, it's not going to show that one. It's a chest. It's the other way. Nope. 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 It's directly behind you. Hence the other way. Nope. Still more. Nope. No. Yeah, you, you, you can't... I said behind you. Oh, it does show it. Okay. Yeah. I thought it only showed it for the, uh, for the leaves. For the flowers. Bead! Eh. I think we're about to get the thing with those uh, statues, too. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. Believe so. Uh, these are cats. So they want... They want the fish. fish. Kitty. Kitty want the fishy. It's like, it's behind you, cat. Turns to the side. No, no, I said behind you. Turns to the side again. Cat, please. <laughs> Worship me. Kitty. Would, uh, would clock directions help? It's so like, mm. like 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock. If I'm standing still, yes. Okay. Eh. 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 Water. Huh, it's not letting me jump up this time. 
Point. I think we got another dojo on this map, too. Yeah, we should, we should take a look at that. <laughs> take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. <laughs> Get away from me. Ah. It got you. Oh, it's this motherfucker. Oh, how do I do this one again? Uh, I think you have to, like dodge their stuff back, but if you slow it down, maybe they won't be able to block everything. So try slow down. You don't need to directly hit them. Nope, they're still blocking, somehow. Fucking umbrella bullshit. Uh. Okay, so... How do I do this? You, you slice, you just didn't slice enough. It's, you gotta do horizontal. Horizontal. That's not horizontal. Ugh. These guys are fucking annoying. sucks, man. And the thing is, like, when it actually, uh, yeah, there it is. I think you have to slash the skulls and then it does something. I slashed that skull and nothing happened. It, it, like, but you started attacking it while I was doing it. There, there's one. And there, yeah, like, you have to make it go grayscale. Ugh. And the thing is, I would look up, like, a, a strategy for attacking these guys better, but it never gives you the name of this enemy, except for in Japanese, and I can't read kanji. <laughs> so I have no idea what it's called. Yep, there it is. Okay, just once more. There's another one. Ugh. Uh, Fuck I'll... those guys. Time on now is awful. Yeah. Oh fucking well. I don't I don't know what they expect you to do there. A restaurant. Love the smell of seafood. Be doggo? <laughs> Why are all the waitresses cats? <laughs> Perhaps I see anyone in here at the moment, even a dog. Pork. I need fresh fish available these days. Hard to get any customers at all. We're all known for our chef, Mr. Um Umi's fresh fish dishes. I'll forget to try one of them. Is it Umi as an umami? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Also a cat. Yep. Goodness gracious, whatever will I do? Even I, the great chef, Yumi, can't cook without ingredients. You're not trying hard enough. I'm at the end of my rope. Cyclone chef. Listen, doggy, can I bend your furry little ear? I don't know why you said it like that, but I guess. <laughs> There's no good fish here lately. I can't cook without fish. I feel like I'm starting to lose my touch. I've had enough. There's gotta be something around here that can make a good meal. What are you looking at? <laughs> no, I'd be too much uh, for getting all that fur off you. Bruh. I need some juicy fruits so the sea to show what I can do. They must be fresh. I don't like that you're holding these knives and pointing them at me. It's an insult to the sea and the fish if it, the dish goes wrong. No, I don't know what the story is with the water dragon. But I do know the fish I need aren't being caught. 
Still, I'd ask the, I've asked the fisherman. I can't do any more than that. Because all I can do is sit tight and wait for good news. So this guy gives you a brush technique, so we do need to do a side quest when we can. Okay. See what it is that needs to be bad. I think it's cats. More cats. Gee, oh my, what could all these cats be doing around the coast? Where the fish are. It is a mystery. Oh jeez, what's going on here? Hey, Urashima. So you got taken by the Porka guy, right? And he took you to a castle at the bottom of the sea? If that's true, where's that Porka now, huh? Hey, where's he now? Yeah, where is he? Jesus. <laughs> what are they talking about? Fuck. Hey, Porka, it's Orca. He's an emissary of the Dragon Palace. He only comes for people worthy of going there. Yeah, right. Didn't your mom teach you not to tell lies? Let's get him. Yeah! Get him! Ah, uh, whoa! Hey, what do you think you're doing? I think we're interrupting something. Just smile and walk away. Only cowards gang up on people like that. Hey, who's that? Good timing. I'm bored of playing with him now. Come on, let's go play somewhere else. Yeah! Let's go play. And by play, we mean terrorize people! <laughs> hey, think those little brats were talking about, Amy? What they mean by a castle at the bottom of the sea? What the fuck do you mean, what did they mean? You okay, kid? Hey, kid. How long you plan on staying like that? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong, kid? Fucking hit him. <laughs> I must have dozed off. I reckon I do that a lot on the beach. Fisherman Urashima. I don't know who you all are, but I sure appreciate you waking me up. I ain't got the strength to go home. Sometimes I nap here. You were sleeping? Yeah, you really had us worried, huh? Just over so long like that. Not sick or injured, are you? No, sir. I'm fit as a fiddle, I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Ah. What? Well, that's a relief, I guess. Anyway. What was it all about a castle at the bottom of the sea? You mind filling us in? Is that where Ariel is? Hope so. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> no he seems just like, I hope Ariel's there. She hot. <laughs> she hot. I'll take one of her sisters, though. <laughs> um, no one ever believes me about that. There's a land under the sea here in Ryoshima. The Dragonians. And Sea God lived there in the Dragon Palace. The Dragon Palace is an amazing place. Real pretty. I haven't been there in a dog's age, though. Hey, you're a dog. <laughs> Dragon Palace. Land of the Dragonians. I've never, ever heard of that before. <laughs> so just how does one get to that palace, bucket boy? How could a chubby... I mean, big boned lad like you elude that water dragon. Make it all the way down to the bottom of the sea. The water dragon was much nicer in those days. But you can't just choose to go to the water, the dragon water dragon palace, you see. Only worthy people can go. You gotta have the Zora tunic, and then you gotta go to Lake Hylia. Use the iron boots, you get down to the bottom of the lake, and then. <laughs> if you're worthy, an emissary called Orca comes to get you. 
It's an orca. <laughs> so this orc, so this orca, <clears throat> so this orca dude is an emissary from the Dragon Palace. Just how do you get to meet this guy anyway? Now that's one question that ain't so easy to answer. Y'all see that pier over yonder? If you wander over yonder. <laughs> that pier's where I met Orca. I was looking out to the sea, and he came with the morning sun. And Orca only comes if you're worthy of the Dragon Palace, I reckon. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.